Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. <laughs>
Uh, I kind of wish they made that more of a silver color, but uh, I guess we'll take a look at that in the review. Um, the other Star Wars figure that I picked up there was a Hero Masher, Darth Maul. And I got this Darth Maul. I've seen uh, Darth Maul uh, prior, but uh, this is a little different because this is from uh, the Clone Wars where he had the droid legs, and then he's got the droid spider body that goes with. Um, and that is freaking awesome, so I had to get that. Um, because we don't have that in a six inch scale, so definitely wanted to pick him up. Unfortunately, it only comes with a single uh, lightsaber. It doesn't have the dual lightsaber on it, but if I remember right from that cartoon series, he didn't have the dual saber, so I guess it's, it's, it's pretty accurate, uh, but definitely pretty cool. The Mashers have been pretty fun, so uh, definitely looking forward to that. And it was only $5.99, so that was a, uh, something I could not pass. And then I found this DC Multiverse Mutant Leader. And uh, yeah, I really don't have any interest in him. I really just wanted it for the uh, Collect and Connected Doomsday uh, bit. But it will round out my Dark Knight uh, collection from uh, uh, Mattel DC uh, Multiverse. And uh, so that's half of the figures I need. Now I just need a Supergirl, which I can get at Walmart for like 16 bucks. And uh, Lex Luthor uh, will be the last one that I need. And I know I can get him on online anywhere from 10 to $15. So he's not too terribly difficult to get. Uh, so yeah, I almost picked this thing up at Walgreens one day for 20 bucks just to get the figure. But uh, $8.99, a lot better price. And finally, I picked up some scary figures. <laughs> So I was at Half Price Books and uh, Walmart. I found this uh, WWE Stone Cold Steve Austin zombie figure uh, from uh, WWE Zombies. It was on sale for $10, so I got this for next year's 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. I was going to do him for this year. That didn't sound right at all. Uh, I was going to review that figure this year, but it came out a little too late in the season, and I'd already gotten other figures for the lineup, so I'll just go ahead and save him for next year. Uh, he was the coolest looking one out of the Wave 2 zombie batch, so he's the only one I picked up. I um, also picked up another figure for 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. It's Dead Man, and this is from uh, DC Direct. And uh, it's got the glow-in-the-dark uh, skin on him, which is super, super cool. Um, paid $20 for him, which is about what he goes for online. Um, and then the back, it was originally $16.99 when it came out. But uh, this was a figure that I had been wanting to get now for two years. I was going to get him last year for 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days and didn't pull the trigger. And then I couldn't find him in time this year. And I finally found him uh, in the wild. And it's the glow in the dark version that I was wanting to begin with. So that is very, very cool. I'm very excited about that. And I've got the unmasked uh, version of him I got from a flea market. So I'll be able to compare the two. So that'll be a lot of fun for next year's 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. And then finally, I got the Dwarven Colossus. This is a summer exclusive, convention exclusive from Pops. And uh, this is from the, what is this? I don't even know, this is from a game. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind. Uh, and uh, my good buddy, Cece, um, he collects pops. And uh, I was out pop shopping for him one day. And he saw this and thought this was really, really cool. Um, and uh, he likes the exclusive type stuff. And uh, um, I found this for $8. This is normally, I think, an $18 to $24 pop. And uh, eight bucks, I mean, that's cheaper than what a regular pop is. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, I've got a trade with some old vintage toy biz figures, and I'm gonna throw this into the lot as kind of a bonus. Thank you for, um, you know, hanging on to the figures and uh, shipping them out to me. So uh, there you go, buddy. That's for you. So there it is, the first toy haul for December of 2017. Look for reviews on, well, some of these figures coming soon. Hey guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.